Hi there. I wanted to uh, make this video to help show people some reasons why they might want to use OneNote in their teaching. And for most of the video, I'll, I'll be going through how I set up my uh, OneNote notebooks for my classes. And by going through that process, that'll pretty much demonstrate many of the things that you'd want to use OneNote for. Just as a really quick introduction, here I have um, OneNote open. This area over here lists all the notebooks that I've created. Um, usually when you start OneNote for the first time, it gives you some sort of uh, personal notebook at the very top. It's kind of like your default notebook. Um, so this particular notebook I use is just for sketching out ideas and grabbing ideas off the web or kind of like little impromptu, just general notes. So I have here um, a graphic I grabbed that I saw on the web that I thought I'd find useful, Philosopher's Cafe, some notes I took for a meeting we had with some teachers. Um, one day I wanted to help some students with solving equations in math, so I created this tab to show that. Um, some notes I saw from the web again. Here's a question that um, her problem that a teacher colleague of mine had about trying to figure out which coffee mug would be better for keeping heat in, in a mug. So it's just something I wrote down and uploaded to the web later on. Um, so you can kind of get a feel for how notebook lets you add different tabs for different kind of topics. Topic one. So you could start a new thing saying here. Um, so let's go through some of my notebooks that I actually use in class. So here's a list of all my notebooks that I have open. Um, I organize my notebooks according to class. So here I have a couple of physics 11 classes, some science 8 classes, some science 9 classes, some classes from previous years. Um, maybe I'll just go into my physics 11 class, block 1-1. One, one. And the top, level, the top level view of this notebook would be um, a whole bunch of tabs across the top corresponding to my uh, units. That, so there's skills, kinematics, dynamics. Um, to add a new topic or new tab, you just right click at the top and you can go new section. And there we go. New section. But I actually don't use sections so much for my setup. I use section groups. Um, new unit, a nuclear power. There, this is my new unit. Let me go through one of my uh, unit section groups then. So I'll go into kinematics, and across the top I have uh, a whole bunch of tabs. I, I know them to keep them in order. So one, two, three, four, five, and upwards. Um, it goes from six to seventeen. That's because you you can only see so many tabs at once. If you click down here, you can see all the other ones in between. Uh, seven and or six and seventeen. Uh, each one of these tabs across the top corresponds to a lesson day. So the first day in kinematics perhaps I was doing um, position time graphs. Second day I was talking about the constant velocity model. Third day I was doing some graphing um, and onwards. One of the useful things I find for OneNote is I'll begin my lesson with a a page called the agenda. So here I'll just write briefly write down what I'm going to cover that day. Um, this helps me organize my, well, it's just like a typical agenda, everybody knows why they'd want to use that, but I'll write down so I'm, I know what I'm about to do. I'll project this on the screen so when the kids walk in they see what the agenda for the day is and then later on, a couple weeks later if I was trying to figure out what order I did things at, I can go back and as you can see um, 
what I did. So and I actually know then that on October 1st was when we started getting into this stuff. Um, so for each lesson, uh, I could have multiple pages. So I usually start with an agenda day, uh, agenda page. Um, in this particular class, I started. The next thing I did is I showed them the unit plan. So just an overall plan of what the day the unit was going to look like, and then some work. So we did an, a sort of informal lab for position time graphs. So I just wrote down the the discussion or notes from our discussion as a class. And then you can see at the end here, I told the class that there's some homework for them to do. Put a little highlighter on it. Hey, everybody, look up at the screen. This is what you have to do for next day. And so now I have a full record of, of what happened that day. And for myself, I have a really bad time remembering things. So I'm this I'm really glad to see because I know I wrote this down. I know I told my class that uh, homework should should be done for next day. A couple more things I, I use a lot in OneNote is um, when I hand out notes and we're going to do some writing on them, I'll, uh, I'll put those notes into OneNote and then I can draw them, draw on the notes with my, uh, or fill in information on the, on the note with my um, stylus and other uh, students as they follow along could do that as well. So maybe I have to fill in some blanks or sketch out a graph and I can do that on the fly and the kids can copy that down in their on their notes. And the other thing I use a lot of would be, so here's a day we did on graphing. Here's my agenda. This is what we're going to do. Um, a reminder for homework. And then, but during the class we had, uh, I had the students doing a worksheet. So maybe I start going over some solutions with them and uh, in class so I can write it out on right on top of the worksheet. Um, I might do this in class or quite often actually I do it at home. So this is me filling out um, the worksheet at home on my tablet and then later on what I would do is I would uh, save this as a PDF and upload it to the class website and as well I'd also print it out and pin it up on the side of the, the wall in their classroom so students can check their solutions. Um, some other things a person could do f for uh, for using OneNote during the class is like, maybe you have a graphic from the web you want to um, save into OneNote so you could I have a say in a science 8 classroom we're talking about um, pneumatic systems and I want to have this picture of, uh, of a front end loader so I take my Screen OneNote screen clipper. Drag over the, the picture I want to keep. And then I can save it to the page I'm on. So I go send to selected location. And now it's in OneNote. So this could be prepared a day ahead or whenever I want to um, show this to the class. So those are really um, sort of the really basic ways that I use OneNote. In other videos, I'll show you some more of the details of what I was doing today. Um, and there's there's similar but slightly different ways of setting up OneNote to, for your daily work. Um, my friend and colleague has created another video on how he uses uh, OneNote for his science teaching. So you can check out his video as well. Well, I wanted to keep this video pretty short. I hope you uh, have some basic understandings of how to use OneNote now. And um, I'll be making some subsequent videos on how to use, um, with more detail on how to use the functionality of OneNote.